Hey guys, Flying Gucci here and welcome back to our tutorial run in Ireland where we are playing as the Pity King Muchat of Munster. So, last episode we talked about everything that we can see in the screen. Um, there are a couple of more things that I want to talk about, but it's gonna maybe be 5 or 10 minutes. Uh, the first, we, we, we went over the legacies here in our dynasty. We uh, did not take a look at this screen, so... This is the religious screen. Uh, we are insular Christianity right now, and we have 50% fervor. The more fervor, uh, the stronger the faith is. The, the, the better you can uh, convert faith in the county, as you can see there. And also, um, when this is low, you can get heresies. And that will most, li most likely happen with the Catholics. Uh, you have tenets that are doctrines that the faith must take a stance on. Uh, monasticism, Orchis can take the vows and become a monk. Temperate is a virtue, gluttonous is a sin. Vows of poverty, generous is becoming a virtue, and greedy is a sin. And pastoral isolation, always considers other Christian faiths to be righteous. So other Christian faiths are legitimate. Intermarriage is common, so normal Catholics are normal to us. And... The sins are listed here, vengeful, sadistic, greedy, gluttonous, and lustful. And the virtues are here, forgiving, compassionate, generous, temperate, and chaste. Then you have the main doctrines, we are male-dominated. Claims of woman can only be pressed against other women, children, or incapable rulers. Women do not get implicit claims on their parents' titles, and so on. Pluralists. Uh, counties what they like, like to join factions, winning a holy war festival, like infidels, rulers, target area of seizing their land. We are theocratic. Temple holdings are leased out to their holders' realm priest, which is our bishop. And he, he is my theocratic vassal, then I guess. Yeah. And we have e ecumenism. In a way, it's not particularly significant. Okay. Uh, marriage polygamous. We can have four spouses. Having too few spouses will incur a piety penalty. Uh, I think we can still have more spouses. Yeah, we still need to marry more girls. And we will. Uh, bastardly. When you get a, ch a child from someone that's not your wife. Uh, divorce must be approved by who? House head. The house head. We don't have a, a head of faith, so... When we become the strongest, we can decide if there can be a divorce. That's gonna be amazing. And... What is this? Marriage between cousins and aunts, nephews, uncles and nieces is allowed. Okay. You can see crimes. Same sex is a, uh, a prohibited. Deviancy. Female adultery, male adultery, kinslaying and witchcraft is not allowed, and so on, and so on, and so on. You can also make a new faith by yourself at some point. And that was the faith screen. Now the last screen I want to go over is the culture screen. Uh, this is also the technology in the game. Uh, tribal, we unlocked every tribal thing. Uh, you get fortification buildings, barracks, and so on, men at arms regiment, extra, currency, development growth, cavalry kind, laws, public works, and also sometimes cultural and regional uh, innovations. But right now we are in the early medieval time. The high medieval time will be available. When we have at least 50% of the innovations of the early medieval area, we are missing three. So we need three more innovations in the early medieval area to get to the high medieval area. I thought there was also a date before we can get here, but I guess we are already in that uh, time span. So we could go to the high medieval area when we get three more innovations. Now... We are the culture head. We are the strongest of the Irish culture. So we can pick our fascination. 
And when we pick a fascination, the progress will go quicker. So we are trying to get the Royal Prerogative Innovation. I think that's really good, because then we get more Crown Authority. And that is listed over here. And thanks to our fascination, we have an extra 30%, and it will be expected to be discovered in about 56 years. The other ones, this one for example, is 391 years. Communal government. Her hereditary rule. 391 years. And yeah, you have all these uh, chronicle writing as well. Can use individual de jure duchy cas bellies. Uh, there's nothing regional. We are not in Western Germany, Iberia, or in Arabia, in this area, in this uh, this timestamp here. Now, what do we need to get to here? We need the royal prerogative innovation. Should go for the royal prerogative innovation. Yeah, this one. We should really try to get this one. Then we can continue with higher crown authority. Uh, they won't like it, but we will get way more things. And vessels of mine cannot war to each other, which they can right now. So that's why we will uh, keep focusing on this innovation. Okay, I think that was everything. This is our sway uh, scheme that we try on our bishop to get him happy. So we get his levies. I think we can unpause the game. And let's uh, see the marriage pop-ups. There we go. Greetings, pretty king, board channel of Munster. Uh, she's wandering, so she, no one has to tell her if she wants it or not. I accept your marriage. There we go. My uh, heir is now allied, is now uh, marriage, married with uh, Aslaug here. Hopefully they will get a lot of children. And there's an alliance with uh, Duke William. Of Normandy who was going after England and thanks to our marriage there we go and there is the call to arm have you have our first achievement until death do us apart it's my first ever achievement of CK3 so he is calling me to go to war with England when we decline oh we're not paused we lose 10 opinion hmm I think I'm going to decline. I think I will keep the alliance. At least not saying that I'm losing the alliance, right? Let's decline. Yeah, and we still have the merit. Okay, that's good. That's what I wanted. So we have our first knight that arrived um, from our decision in the last episode. Let's have a look at him. Uh, he has 13 prowess. He is not the best, I would say. He, do, he will have a good martial skill, maybe to go on... Nah, well, martial is 14. That's not going to change anything. I think... I'm not going to get this one. He's not strong enough, I think. We, our other uh, guy here... Has 16. I think I'm going to recruit this guy to the court. It will give him 10 gold. And he suddenly comes into a knight. You can see it uh, here in the... Uh, the picture of him. The animation. I really like the animations in the game. It's really uh, really nice. And yeah, you will become my knight all the time. Need to get one or two more good knights. Um, let's have a look at this army. Is he building any special units? No. And he has no allies. Otherwise it would line up over here. I could go after him. Right now. Their military strength is vastly inferior to ours. Ah. So the game is telling me you should really go after him. He is uh, not good. Well, maybe we should go after him then. It's a bit... Uh, a bit scary, but yeah, we, we, have a good, uh, we have good leaders. That's true. Maybe we'll wait for uh, one or two more good knights and then we will go. I think that's what I'm going to do. Any issues? Yeah, the endorsed bishop, we know. 
You can also declare on this guy. Because my courtier has a claim on Eilech. Huh. You are very weak and you have no allies. Really? Yeah, you have a claim on Eilech and on Oriel. I don't know what pressed and unpressed means. Pressed claims are considered legally strong and are inherited as unpressed claims by the children. Why is this pressed? I don't understand that. Um, we could go there, but I think I'm going to go and get my duchy first. Maybe I will give him his land later. But we just let the game run a bit now. Um, do you? Can you marry someone that give me another alliance, my half brother? Uh, we don't care about this anymore. Adult. We don't care about that. We don't care about that. We want alliance. And sort on the alliance power. We can get a alliance with the Duchy of Northumbria. Pretty old. The Duchy of Austria. Then there are only counties left. Nah, those are not going to become interesting because uh, my ally in the Duke of Normandy, the bastard, he is going after England. If he conquers England, then uh, we have a bigger ally. Okay, we have another knight. Oh, you are fantastic. You have 17 prowess. You could also uh, teach my children if you want to go the martial way. Uh, yeah, I'm going to recruit you. Oh, we need uh, 30 gold. Let's wait for the 30 gold. 26. Hopefully we can sway our bishop so we get his, uh, his money and levies. Is he building something? No, he's still not building uh, men-at-arms. Insular Exaltation. Bishop has gained a spotless reputation for his absolute rejection of any carnal pleasure. <gasps> yeah, we get more favor, a uh, fervor for our faith. Thanks to that event. All right. That is fine. All right, come on, give me the 30 gold. I think I'm just going to go to war when I have the 30 gold. Our knights are strong. Our leader is super strong. Okay, there we go. We have 30. Uh, 17 prowess here. Come to my court. And become a knight indeed. I'm going to force you, force you, force you. And I will allow the other ones. I'm going to force you because you are just my knight. My nephew in knight. Yeah, I'm going to force you as well. My half-brother. I'm just going to force you. He can't die, and that's the whole thing. People can die. And that's pretty bad. I think I'm going to go to war. He will become my vessel, I think. Uh, we use the uh, the Jur CB. Because my vessel. And we get some fame, and we share 400 prestige. Based on their contribution, apparently. We need to uh, pay 50. But luckily we have Bellum Justum. And that uh, makes it 50% cheaper to declare war. So we spent a little bit of our prestige, but uh, we want this. He is vastly inferior, according to the game. Let's declare war. So, we're now at war. You can hear the sound change, which is fantastic. There's the race army button that uh, will go to the closest rally point. And here all my troops will get uh, over here. And we are commanding our army and that is really good because we have 24 advantage. We are leading our own soldiers and we have a good martial skill. 
We are by far the best to lead the army. Who is leading his army? Cannot see it. I'm gonna go straight into his uh, thing. He is... Um, they are saying... That we have more soldiers, but he is defending wetlands and he has higher quality. That's not true. He is trying to run away onto the sea. The chances are even. I really think we are stronger. But what is his commander? He has a uh, 17 martial skill. We have 19, we have more armies, so we have better knights. I'm gonna take it. Now, he has 22 advantage. I have 24 advantage, so it's, it's pretty close. We have better quality, and our knights should be better than his. So let's see, uh, we are now uh, in the maneuver phase. Both sides are preparing for battle. We are now the early battle phase. He is using Undealed Defender and I am using this one. Uh, these are the rolls. We have a minimum of 0 and a maximum of 10. And that will also increase your, I think, your advantage. So, our knight has wounded, was wounded by one of his knights. That's really bad, actually. Bad start. Um, we are rooting more of his casualties. The advantage is 5 in enemy's favor right now. Because of all the things, our advantage, skill, the battle roll, and leading own soldiers. And since he is defending in the wetlands, he will always have a 5 plus 5 advantage. So the, the battle roll is not doing a lot in this game. Now, when you roll a 10 versus 3... You, of course, will do way better. Some of our knights are getting wounded, but we won the battle. That was uh, pretty close. And when you win a battle, let's have a look at the battle. Uh, we lost 144. 144 uh, 445 survived. He has less survivors. And we captured who? The mayor of Baltimore. So we captured uh, this mayor who apparently was a knight, I think. Yeah, I think so. He has nine prowess. Uh, what you can do is a lot of things with the people you have in your prison. You can execute them. You gain dread. And you spend piety. And my earl will lose opinion. He will become my vassal, remember. So we don't really want him to be angry. Uh, execution method, behead. <laughs> we can negotiate a release. You can demand conversion. Yes, you can get a, a weak hook. Or you can uh, take the vows and make him a monk or something. Or you ransom him. Now I'm going to ransom him, I think. Because money is very... Uh, spares. Maybe I can wait until he has to add uh, 30 uh, money. Now, since we won the battle, we need to siege down his fort. Now, we are now at the moment have 445 levies, and we need 456 to uh, start the siege progress. So we do not have enough soldiers right now. To start sieging this uh, this uh, thing here. Now I I hope that we get reinforcements next month so that we have enough. He's really running away on the sea. Yeah, there we go. We got uh, some reinforcements. It does not ha happen on the first of the month. It happens in the middle of the month, I think. And oh, I think some uh, garrison got away or something. But now we are sieging. We have a uh, base progress of one. Because we don't have siege weapons. And here you can see we need 250 siege progress. Guess it has to do with the fort level. You can also assault the fort, but then you need to have uh, 
breach and there you for you need siege weapons so we are just gonna uh siege this uh fortification the barony of trali and the capital of this county and then we should win the war and before i peace out i should ransom the uh, the one i captured the mayor of the city of baltimore the nice thing about this run is that everything is very small and and easy to understand if you are playing as uh the Holy Roman Empire, you you get you need to do all kinds of things every day because things are going to uh, go bad really quickly when you have so many vassals. Oh, we have a new trait for our um, bishop and our court physician. He is a novice physician. Really, got more learning. And he has is trained in the art of healing, so he is uh, he's becoming better at healing. Now, does that mean that the learning skill doesn't matter, but that you need a, a treat skill? Is that what the game is telling me now? Do you need one of these skills? You are a legendary blade master. Yes, you are. Let's have a look at the skills here. Is there anything else that has some of these? You are injured, yeah. My nephew and knight was uh, severely injured. Can I send my court physician? No. To my family. I, I, I guess I can't. That's, uh, that's a pity. I really would like my court physician to take a look at him. But I think you cannot do this, no. Okay, uh, that's fine. Forest fighter. These are commander traits. Those in the shield, and these these are education traits. Yeah, we have no one else with any skills that can heal. So he's the best pick, I think. Now he's gonna try to out siege over here in my vessel's territory. My uh, Earl Regenfart. I. Regan fault, not fart. You did not hear that. Oh, I hope I see it's quicker. Yeah, he does not have enough soldiers to take care of this uh, garrison. So we will siege this one first. And then we should be good to go. We have another knight. I think it's the last one that would arrive with this uh, decision I take. Oh my goodness. You are a vengeful, sadistic, diligent knight. You're strong, you're rough terrain, exp oh my goodness, should I just get him as a knight? He needs 55 gold. I don't know what the price, what, what, what is deciding the price, I don't know. But I think I want him. That is a serious good knight. A sway progress is at 64. Just based on our diplomacy. That's it. Nothing else is uh, changing the success change of personal schemes. It's your own diplomacy. If you have a very high diplomacy, you can make everyone like you. Ah, my Earl Regenfald is now Irish. He was Norwegian and now he is Irish, so he actually converted on himself. Great. That's good. almost liking me and all my other people in the council like me that's really good that's the chance that they are gonna kill me and we are not having enough soldiers again do we not get more soldiers no it looks like we won't get enough soldiers um, I think I have to go back to my homeland but he will also not have enough soldiers. Will we lose all the siege progress? I think we will. Yeah. But we can't help it. We need to reinforce our army first. So we have to go here. Uh, let's have a look at our prisoner. Do you have... Uh, 
Okay, let's wait uh, one more month and then you should have th 30 gold for the ransom. Is he in my normal prison? Yeah, he's in house arrest. You can also move him to the dungeon or torture him. <laughs> you can actually torture. But he will become my vessel. It's better that I will just ransom him. <laughs> oh, apparently we have some armies to raise still. I don't know. 464. The number you see on the map? Why well, I don't see it anymore. Is the garrison. We have 448. Yeah, we need way more troops if we want to do something. Uh, yeah, we can ransom Mayor. It will be listed over here as well. Yeah, we will ransom him for 30 gold. That's the maximum. There we go. We really need to wait for the reinforcement of all our levies and then we go siege again. Oh, we tried to sway the, the, our bishop, but he is not swayed. But we will try again. You don't get a negative penalty. You can do this over and over. He is very close to become positive. He will never be able to siege my uh, territory. Okay, we have 512. This must be enough to siege down. Let's try again. We cannot go below 400. In 20 days we get an event. Siege event, disease outbreak. Garrison health, sickness is spreading. So we get plus 10% uh, siege progress, 1.1. And then you get a new event again. We have uh, desertion, siege progress plus 5. Just a flat 5 points. It's also great. Hopefully we will keep our uh, levies high enough with the attrition. Until the end. Yeah, another disease outbreak. Quicker progress. We have only a maximum of 4 months uh, for the siege. Okay, the attrition is really low. I think we will uh, be able to do it. Hey, we have a sun, guys. Did he marry something that is 19? We have 41. Oh well. Uh, yes. We have Count Komrak. Over here. Well, we already had a child, right? Yeah. My heir. He is 20 years older. He is our main heir that we will play when we die. But uh, he will also get titles now. This guy. Um, we could after name after you after my father. Maybe an ancestor, a good insular name. To Irish name, Snetgoose. That sounds fantastic. Snetgoose Macmurchat. <laughs> oh, oh, and here we go. We have. Um, Sometimes you get events by the people here council. Your marshal's average marshal skill led to this windfall. So we have more garrison and more growth. Right. What is growth? Um, the control growth is the county control. When it is 100, you will get all your stuff. When it is not 100, you get a penalty to tax, loot, and I mean tax and levies, and there can be some corruption events. Um, the development is just a flat uh, bonus to what you get from your levies and taxes. Every one development gives 0.5% extra levies and 0.5% taxes apparently. And this grows automatically thanks from neighbors. When we, we have a small harbor here and we have, we have guild halls already as buildings over here. But yeah, you can see it here. Uh, small harbor gives us a bit more... Development growth and taxation, and the wooden barracks give uh, more levies and heavy infantry and spearmen damage. Yeah, that goes automatically higher. Uh, 
and popular opinion is um, our, e our events and when this is low you can get rebels. It's as simple as that actually. Which path did I take? Did I... Yeah, the authority focus. So we have uh, plus 0.3 control growth. So when we lose control, which we will when we conquer this... Uh, when we make the Earl of Desmond our vassal, the control will go lower here. I cannot see the control here. Yeah, it's still 100 in this county and here. Look, it's 75 here because they are under siege. So they don't get any control and... Um, yeah. I think it's 75 because they are under siege. I don't know. And this number will go up quickly because of our authority focus. Oh, let's have a look in England. What is happening? What the... What? England is not at war anymore? They are. No, they're not. Ah! King William the Conqueror of England. The Frenchman took the throne of England, guys. And guess what? He has 10,000 troops. And I'm allied to them. <laughs> I'm allied. I'm allied to him because of a marriage. Oh my goodness, we are so strong now. But this guy has 10,000 levies. Apparently, the capital is in Alençon. Wow. He is still at war against uh, the ruler of Norway, because Norway also tried to uh, become the king of Norway. Always tried to become the king of England. Now they are fighting each other. They are allied with me, and they are allied with Prince Robert. Fantastic. That was a good move, I think. Oh. Well, if he keeps calling me in wars, that's not so good. And join me in the Norwegian invasion of England. Now, I will accept this because he is way stronger. Yeah, I will, I will accept. So now we are also at war with the Isles, as you can see. Because uh, Norway and the Isles, I think, are brothers or were brothers in the past. I don't know anymore. But um, in the Isles, there is someone leading Haraldsson. And he has an alliance of the king of ruler, the, the, the ruler of Norway. So what is this? Through downcast lashes, as my eyes meet Aslaugs for what feels like the 20th time tonight, I know I'm not imagining things. Even from other end of the table, her gaze feels as intense as the midday sun. She wants me, and I'm terrified of her, of her husband, Brian, or of what I might do. Uh-oh. <laughs> we can sleep with the, uh, the girl of our son. No, we cannot do this. No, no, no. No, I'm not gonna do it. I want a, I want a legit son. <laughs> now we are at war now, and they could invade my country with two thousand men. Sometimes the AI does that, so I hope things will go. You can call on your ally. Yeah, yeah, but we're not going to call him. Now we're almost done with the siege here. 250 progress. Oh, we have a camp dispute. After my army sets up camp, I hear a commotion coming from my knight's lodgings. Investigating the disturbance, I find my knight and my nephew and knight in the middle of a heated argument while several onlookers edge on them. Deliver a speech about unity to the crowd. It's a diplomacy challenge. Uh, when it goes wrong, we lose prestige and the SK onlookers join in. Have them whipped. We gain war dread and we get martial experience. They will become wounded. No. 
I spent 35 prestige. Uh oh. Looks like I have to spend some prestige here. Okay, there we go. We won the siege. We have 100% uh, war, uh, uh, war score. We get 20 money from the siege. And we took a prisoner. You captured Earl's bishop. And his son. I captured his son. <laughs> ah, we get more opinion when we favor them. When we uh, ransom people in our court. Yes, we will ransom all of them. Okay, we need to wait for the first proposal. There we go. And I want to... He does not want to... He's an unimported courtier. He is 52. Um, I could maybe... Um, he's in a dungeon, so he will die pretty quickly. I cannot... Make him join my court. He is a good... Uh, one, a good one with intrigue, apparently. Oh, maybe we have to move to house arrest first. There we go. You don't have to be in, in the dungeon. You still don't want to pay. Yeah, now I can recruit him. But he will lose opinion. Ugh. Should we just get a hook on him? I mean, he does not have any money. I don't know. Maybe we can use the hooks later. You never know. Just wait for the pop-up and then I peace out the war. There we go. So, we now have a hook on him. Can invite you to the court with a hook. <laughs> and then we don't lose opinion. <laughs> oh my god, this game is already weird. Uh, nah, I'm... I'm gonna let him go. He he will stay the courtier of uh, our Earl. So we can peace out. You will become my vessel. We will enforce your demands. Gain some more fame. Fame is nothing else than this thing here. You get more progress. I guess we go to 101 now. Or not. Okay, never mind. Fame is something else. <laughs> oh wait, there is this. This is fame. We got um, 40 fame. When you get a thousand, we go to the next level of uh, uh, fame. Distinguished. We can get an extra knight and secular opinion. There are another clergy. Goes higher. Goes to plus five. Um, you cannot lose this progress. When you spend prestige, this bar will not deplete, by the way. It will just continue. And there we go, guys. We now own all of this. We now have two powerful vessels. The Earldom of Ormond and the Earldom of Desmond. And do you see it? He wants a seat on the council because he thinks he is important. And he is actually. Um, if they team up to me, they are stronger than me. So we need to uh, take some more um, domains for ourselves. We want to prevent this. And uh, we are going to give him uh, the marshal spot, I think. He is, uh, he is a good marshal. And he's just my half-brother, marshal and knight. We don't really care about that. So yeah, we are going to make him my marshal. And now a marshal can do another thing. He can also increase control in a county. Now what is the control over here? It's only 35. And it goes up with 0.2. And not higher with my traits because I don't own it. If I would own it, I would get the authority focus plus 0.3. But I don't own this county. But what I can do is increase my, the control here with my good skilled marshal. And then it goes a bit quicker. Plus 0.7. As you can see over here. I think. Can you see it here? Not really. No. But okay. In six years we will have 100 control in Desmond. 
And that's uh, how it works. All right, guys, I have to end the episode in the next one. Uh, we need to take some more land for ourselves. We need to go to our six domain holdings. So we, uh, we have enough levies to fight our enemies. And that will happen in the next episode. And we, of course, are at war with, uh, with Norway. But I think... Uh, England or the French, the Frenchlands, I would say, because it's a Frenchman on the throne, uh, would deal with this himself. So we will see. Please don't forget to like, and I hope to see you in the next part. Bye bye.